Shapiro was introduced in the early 70s at the University of Oregon by some guy who was like, we just thought this was a nice way to do it. It kind of carried on through the ages. We got a Doug Stern in New York, is the one I picked it up from. Um, I've been doing it for a few years, and not as much as I should be, basically, because every time I do it, I feel better afterwards than I did before as far as how I engage the walk. So, you're going to use the pole the the kickboard rather. Put one hand in the middle of the middle, right in the middle. Okay, and you're going to just basically put it out on the water and use that as balance, but also isolate that hand. The focus is on the hand, it's not on the kickboard. Okay, so you get the kickboard out there, you get the other hand out here, right? So you push out the ball and start kicking. Okay, and then the first thing you're going to do with the catching arm is Break the wrist and take that elbow, and the, the sensation is I'm throwing that elbow forward. It's an odd way to think about it, but it actually could be different. Okay, so you're going to push off the kick. This one's on the kickboard, right? Break the wrist, put that elbow forward, and all of a sudden, you engage that whole area there, right? And you're going to pull through. Now, you don't need to pull past your shoulder. You probably will. You probably will to your waist. Some of you guys will pull all the way down your hips, but you want to keep the pull sort of. Uh, shallow in terms of where you pull and then where you bring it out. Because the scooter part of it, for a scooter release, <laughs> is you're, you're sort of swimming a little bit like this. And you'll notice as you do it, look at my shoulders, my hips are doing the same thing, okay? You're, you're repeating the motion here to just practice that catch, and then that body position also starts to move. You start to feel, you'll feel your hips start to engage a little bit with your stroke the way you normally would. The other thing to remember, keep in mind, is keep your head forward. The tendency is going to be to kind of move your head back and forth, back and forth. You want to keep it locked forward because you're actually then isolating and engaging what's going on with your arms and your shoulders and slightly with your hips. Okay? So I'll show you. Um, and if you want to get out of the water and see if that's fine, I'm going to show you a couple of different lengths. Since you're isolating one arm, and because we're taking the picture from here, you want to, isolate, you want to actually pull with the arm that's on this side of the pool, okay? I mean, so we'll go down, and if it's all with one arm, you're not switching. So you go one, this arm going down, and I'll go the other arm coming back, okay? And it's not a race. You, know, you, you can struggle and, and fight it, but you just relax. The, I, I would bet that probably a 30 you are going to have a little trouble with this because of your kicks. A lot of tight hips with runners and triathletes that have tight hips. And so the kicks are kind of weak and then, you, know, you kind of struggle with it. The point is that a lot of a good freestyle kick engages your hips and if your hips are really tight, it makes it hard to have a good kick. So don't worry about it. Just try to use the momentum off the wall. And you, you could, but it's, it shouldn't be necessary. And if you do it, if you get, if you get dependent upon your flippers, then you're not going to get the full benefit of the drill. So it's better to start and struggle and learn how to do it without than to start with the fins and then try to wean off of them. Even though, hey, I'm not in charge of your workout, you are, right? So <laughs> you can do it you want. Um, all right, so hand in the middle of the middle, and the first thing you're going to do is push off and kick, okay? So you watch me do that on the push off, and then I'm going to start pulling the arm, but you know, watch my elbow, that's the key. It's just when I see you guys swimming, I'm, I'm looking right here, and then I'm looking here secondarily, right? But you want to engage that, engage that a little bit. Okay. Push on, get the kick going with the hand out here, and you're just imitating the same thing on the other side. Notice too that um, 